It was made official by Jordan Travis on his social media today that his college career is over. Now, we all kind of knew that was the case, considering how ugly that injury was for a guy who's been one of the better ACC quarterbacks we've seen in recent memory. But I feel like a lot of people made a great leap after the injury that maybe we need to roll back a little bit. The leap that a lot of people went to is, well, that's it for Florida State season. They're not going to make the playoff now. That's it for the ACC. Hashtag go ACC, am I right? Florida State was at the ACC's one hope, and there goes Jordan Travis. There goes the ACC season. Slow your roll a bit. Don't count out the Seminole CFP hopes just yet because here's the reality. If they finish unbeaten, they're getting in. Plain and simple. I don't care how big of a Big Ten fan you are. Oh, Ohio State or Michigan would be better than FSU, so surely they'd figure out a way to get them in even with one loss. No. The reality is one of those two teams are going to lose this week in Ann Arbor, which means one of the two is not going to play in a conference championship game. Thus, if Florida State wins its next two games and they're an unbeaten conference champ, then there's no question about it. They are in. No doubt. No way they're setting a precedent of leaving a team like that out. Speaking of Ohio State, there is precedent for this. They lost Braxton Miller and JT Barrett in the 2014 season. And with one loss, they lost to Virginia Tech at home early that year. They figured out a way to get into the college football playoff. First ever college football playoff. And not only did they get in, they won the national championship with their third string quarterback, Cardale Jones. So don't tell me that FSU can't get in at this point in the season. Look what's left on the slate. You got Florida this week. By the way, the Florida Gators lost their quarterback on Saturday. It wasn't just Florida State who lost their guy. Graham Mertz, broken collarbone. He's out for the rest of the year. So it's going to be the Gators backup going up against FSU. After that, they play Louisville in the ACC championship. That matchup made official after Louisville won in a thriller against Miami on Saturday afternoon. By the way, that is the first ever ACC championship matchup. It will be. That does not feature a North Carolina school or a school from a state that borders the state of North Carolina. So, you geography nuts out there, Kentucky does not touch North Carolina and neither does Florida. So, Florida State, Louisville making a little bit of history in that regard. And Louisville's a top 10 team right now. But they're winning against Miami. So if FSU beats Louisville in the ACC championship, then they would have earned it. But I don't want to hear any of this stuff about Michigan or Ohio State get again over an unbeaten FSU. It's just not going to happen. Now, with all that said, you should expect Washington to jump Florida State in the rankings tomorrow. Boo Corrigan will answer the questions and will say that it wasn't Jordan Travis's injury that was the reason for it. But we all know subconsciously, you, you saw that injury. You didn't watch much else of the game. They were down 13 nothing to an FCS opponent. Yeah, that, that does factor into the decision. But also, Washington, they won in Corvallis on Saturday night. Washington's win in Corvallis and Washington's win against Oregon are better than any FSU wins this year. Because Clemson, even though they've bounced back, not having a banner year, they're 7-4. and four, And... The win against LSU. LSU now has three losses. So none of those wins look as good as the two wins that Washington could bring to the table. So they will jump Florida State tomorrow, but FSU still every bit part of this playoff mix, even though Jordan Travis went down.